five minutes out. Okay. Yes. So then, uh, thank you for clarification. So if we could get a, a commander in, back in his suit, um, get it sealed, and uh, fall, step into procedure 5.180 for suited hyperbaric treatment, section 3 for oxygen post-splashdown, that would be my recommendation. I'll copy. Copy. Um, understand that this is a best effort treatment, and so whatever you can do is going to be better than doing nothing. Um, and just as an FYI, prior to sealing, um, closing the visor and pressurizing the suit, I would like you to check uh, his pulse uh, one more time. How copy. Correct, yes. Um, that would be, um, actually, Sis, you're on this call. How much oxygen do we have remaining in minutes? Perfect. So, yes, then I would like you to have 100% O2 flowing via mask while you get the suit on. Prior to closing the visor and pressurizing, I'd like you to do a pulse check one more time and then step into 5.180, uh, Section 3. Um. Is there a way that the mask can be attached? So is there a way that we could get the suit over the head, have the visor open, and put the mask at least close to his face while you finish sealing up the suit, or is that not feasible? Copy. Copy. Well, I, I think at this point, because the uh, the hypobaric exposure is, is the big problem, and given his exam, I am concerned that there are some severe DCS hits, and so I would uh, I, I would recommend trying to get him in the suit as soon as possible, and giving oxygen as as best as able during that process. But the the best thing would be to get him in the suit at ASAP. Thank you. And sis, uh, we are okay to um, deprivatize at this time. Just as a FYI for you, I am still about one hour um, out from MCCX. <laughs> 